الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد وإن أو تجويد كلاس In our last lesson, we spoke about الصفات اللازمة, صح? How many types of صفات are there, did we say? Two types. صفات لازمة and صفات and صفات عارضة. صفات لازمة, we said, is divided into how many? Two. So صفات لازمة is how many types? Two types. What's the first type? ذات الضد. What did we say the صفات ذات الضد means? How many were they first of all? Five. five. And those five have what? Opposite. Five opposite. Except one which we brought, which was? Which was? Yeah, when we brought at tawassut, right? Which there is a, there's three dimensions. I'm a three, it's a triangle. There's three. Like in the rest, there's only one opposite. We did that, right? Okay. And we finished that or did. In our last lesson, right? Today we're going to start الصفات التي لا ضد لها And it's seven وهي سبعة And it's seven These seven They do not have opposites They do not have opposites And they are how many? They are these sevens that we've written They are these seven The way that I'm going to speak about it today I, w- I hope, inshallah ta'ala, that I will be able to do all of the seven. So we can finish, inshallah ta'ala, um, this part of the sifat, inshallah ta'ala. The way I'm going to speak about all of the seven is in the following way. Each one, every one of them. I'm going to explain what it means, lughatan. All of them. And I'm going to mention what it is, istilahan. Technically, according to the scholars of Tajweed, what do they call as safir The third thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to mention the huruf, the letters that fall under each one. And the fourth is sababu tasmiya. Sababu tasmiya means what? Why is it called as safir Okay, why was it given this name? Why was it called as safir why was it called Al-Qalqala? Why? Now what was the reason? So each one, how many points are we going to mention from it? Four. The first one is? Lugha. The second one is? Astilahan. Third one is? Hurufuha. And the third one is? Sababu Tasmiya. Does everyone understand what all of those, and all of those mean? Okay. Have you all written it? So you write this all for all of them. Everyone, all of them, you write it for them. What does as-safir mean in the Arabic language? Remember, what we said was, every word that was used in the sharia, in the religion, was used by the Arabs before that. So when we say lughatan, we always mean according to the Arabs before Islam came about. Okay? What were they referring to is as safir It's salt yushbihu salt as safir salt as safir Let's not use the word as safir because that's the word what we're looking for. But let's say. Let's make it even more clearer. Yushbihu. What does it mean, lughatan? What does the word as safir mean, lughatan? It is sawt, it's a sound. That yushbihu, it looks like sawtu ta'ir. Like the sound of a what? A bird. So it's the sound that the bird makes. Are we all together? The noise that the bird makes is called what? That, na'am, the bird, the way it sounds. And the noises that the bird... It's, that's what's called... 
That is logatan what the word as safir mean. Are we all together? Istilahan, what does it mean? Istilahan, what does it mean? As in technically, according to the scholars, what does it mean? Okay, what does it mean technically? It means sawtun, it's a sound. Za'id, additional. Yakhruju, it comes out from what? Min bayni shafatain, it comes from what? In between the two lips. So it's a noise. Sawt means sound. Za'id means what? Additional, extra. Yakhruju, it comes out from where? Min bayni shafatain, it comes out from where? Between the lips. Yusahibu, what is accompanied with it, am I with it, is these three letters that we mentioned. The Saad, the Zad, and the Sin. The last thing what we want to do is Sababu Tasmiyah. Why was it called as Safir? What was the reason in why it was called as Safir? Li'annahu inda nutqi. Because why was it called as safir When you mention, am you articulate its letters, يخرج معها what comes out with it is صوت أين sound يشبه الصو يشبه صفير الطائر. It resembles the noise that comes out from the from the bed. عند النطق when you pronounce it. Amma, when you articulate it, the letter, which letter? The sad, the za, and the seen. What comes out with it is what? A sound that simil- is similar to the noise of the what? Of the bed. It's similar to the sound of the? the sound of the bed. So we did what we promised. The word as safir, what did we say? We're going to? We're going to mention what it is? Logatan. Did we do it? Astilahan, did we mention it? We did. The huruf, the letters. Did we mention? Istilahan uh, means sawt. It's a sound. Za'id, additional sound. Okay. Yakhruju, it comes out. Min bayni shafataini, between the two lips. It comes out between it. Yusahibu, it accompanies the letters. That are the three when, when it's coming out. Meaning, this extra noise is coming out when the letter is coming out. Like that. You can hear the noise that's coming out with it. The swad. When you're saying the swad. That noise, that's the, the sound of the swad when it's coming out. The noise of the bed, it comes with it. It accompanies when it comes out. This one. Why is it okay? Why is it called a safir? Because when the letter comes out, the voice, the sound of the bird comes out. The bird's got a sound, right? The sound of the voice, the, the sound, and those noises are what? It's the noises that the bird makes. They said. So it's similar to it. Okay. That's all it is. Nothing big, nothing less. We want to, inshallah ta'ala, today to finish the sifat lazima. So next week we can start what? No, we want to finish the sifat lazima. Yeah, we want to finish the sifat lazima. And then we want to start what? What? The sifat al-aridah. The second sifat al-lati laha did. What is it? We're going to go to? Al Qalqala. So what we do what we do, what do we need to do? Logatan. And we have to mention it. Istilahan. And we also mention its huruf. And sabab tasmiya. We're now gonna go into Qalqala. Okay, now we're going to go to Al Qalqala. We're going to go into what? Al Qalqala. 
What does Al-Qalqala mean? Logatan in the Arabic language. It means Al-Idrab. Idrab means what? It means when you're saying Aqa, Aqa. Your voice is that echo noise that it makes. It's bouncing. Does that make sense? That's what Idrab means. When two, when two forces are going against each other. Are we all together? So that's what it meant in the Arabic language. Al-Qalqala. Qalqala meant Al-Idrab. When something, like for example, even situations. If this situation is not, a person is depressed. His situation is not settled. It's not. So he's confused. He's like, what shall I do? What shall I do? He has what? Qalqala. What is he? He's confused. When you're confused, what's happening? Thoughts are bouncing in your head. Sah? You don't have a vision. That's what it meant in the language. Lakin, the ulama of tajweed, the ulama of the Quran, they said it's idhirab al Oh, it's the bouncing of the letters, not your mind and your feelings. That's in the language. But here is idhirab al The makhraj is what? The letter that you're pronouncing and the word that you're articulating. And then nutqi, when you're pronouncing it, bil harfi sakini. But that, that letter has a what? It has a sukun on it. So later what we're going to do is aqsam. We're going to mention the types of qalqala and the maratib of the qalqala. Because the qalqala has maratib. I don't know if it's wise to mention it. You guys may not understand it. Huh? And the nutqi means when pronouncing it, when articulating it, when reading it. Bil harfi sakin. The letter which is that has a sukun on it. Hurufuha, what are its letters? Qut bujad. Say it with qalqala. Ah, so it's qa, ta, ba, jim, and dal. Those are, those are the qalqala. Faqalqala is, faqalqala tun qut bujadin. Sah, Jazari says it. So qut, qut, Bu Jaddin. Okay, why was it called? Um, why was it called Qalqala? We kind of mentioned it when we spoke about it in the Istilahan, right? The reason is because al Makhraj in the Khuruj. When the letters are coming out, it's what? Yeah, so let's write it down. Lidrabi Hurufiha. Because its huruf is what? في مخرجها عند النطق بها ساكنة When it's coming out There's an idhirab Because it's doing that idhirab Are we all together? قط قط أبا أبا Yeah? No, I'm just trying to put it in English Oh, you want, you want, trans, you want Oh, you want the meaning Okay Isn't it better you understand it or you want to write everything? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so what was the word that we said for the word idhirab? Is there any other better word we can find for it other than bouncing? Hurufiha, it's letters. The letters are how many? Five, right? So the, the, the echo noise or the bouncing, as you guys call it, I don't like it, but I'll just go with it. Idhirab is kind of contradicting. The reason, when two force goes against it, the noise that it makes, if two cars kill, what happens? A noise comes out of it, right? So then, two things are happening. Sukun is there and the person is trying to say something. So it's hitting one another. Are you all together? Hurufiha, it's letters. Fi makhrajiha, in where it's coming out from. In where it's. Fi makhrajiha, in where it's coming out from. Indan nutqi, when pronouncing it. Fi makhrajiha, when it's coming out. In the nutqi when pronouncing it Biha sakina On it is sukun So in other words it means in, in simple English it means The echo noise That is made The echo noise It's kind of the same yeah The echo noise Yeah so let me finish it The echo noise That's made The echo noise 
that's made when articulating the letter due to being a sukun there due to being a sukun a sukun there I'm just as I say improvising I'm just giving you the closest meaning I can inshallah ta'ala so what we've done is we've spoken about qalqala qalqala is how many types now I need to mention it how many types is qalqala aqsamul qalqala That's number one. We have to. The rest we didn't do this for it, right? This is only for which one? This is only for Kalkala. And we need to mention Maratib, the levels of Kalkala. Maratib. Aqsamu al Kalkala. The types of Kalkala. And how? And the Maratib means levels. Maratib means what? So, types of Kalkala and the. The level. How many? How many is this one? Three. How many is this one? Four. So three are the aqsam, and four to uh, four are the levels. Habaybi, are you guys with me? Aqsamu, aqsamu al-qalqala. The types of al-qalqala. What did we say? It's how many? Three. And what about the maratib? Four. How many are the... Uh, how many are the... The uh, aqsam? It's a'la. And then awsat. I'm a wusta. And then adna. So we have A'la, Wusta, and we also have and the Adina. Okay, A'la. It's better to go according to the way that we were doing it. I don't know why I changed it. A'la, Awsat is better because we said A'la, we should say Awsat. That's better, to be more precise. We should say what? Awsat and Adina. Do this with your left hand. So which one goes into the A'la from the five? Only Ta' goes into the A'la. The only one that goes into A'la is what? Only Ta' Ta' Okay? Qaf is Adna. The only one that goes into A'la Awsat. Uh, where's the Wow? So it's Awsat, yes. Where's the Wow? There you go. You got it now. You happy? I'll give you the wow. <laughs> Are we all together? So we have A'la, Awsat, and what? Adna. Okay, the Aqsamul Qalqala. A'la means what? A'la means what? High. Awsat means middle. Adna means... So we have to mention these five. Which one go in where? A'la, which one? Ta. Sahih? So Ta' where does it go in? Ta' goes into the A'la And the Jim The Jim Where does it go into? Awsat And the Adna The remaining What's left? Qaf Ba and Dal, right? They go into Adna We're now going to go through the Maratib Al-Qalqala the levels of the yes somebody asked me a question maratib al qalqala means levels of qalqala we're going to go in there now i'm going to mention the four levels so first the first one is what is as-sakin lil waqfi as-sakin al waqf الساكن للوقف عليه المشدد. For example, الح that's the first one. That's number one. I said four, right? So for example, this one will be الحج. صح. The word الحج. What do we have on it? So the example for it. Example, مثال. Is الحج 
two. So what does it have? Like tabbat yadabi, sah tabba. Number two. So it's a sakin for waqf. There's a shadda in there. There's a what? There's a shadda on there. The second one is a sakinu sukun lil waqfi alayhi al mukhaffaf. So those are the four, four levels. As sakinu lil waqfi alayhi al mushaddad. As sakinu lil waqfi alayhi al mukhaffaf. This is. It has no shadda on it. It's like muhita, muhita, al hajj. Third one is yaj, yaj ma'u. And the third one is, the fourth one is al mutaqin, al mutaqin. The fourth one is al mutaharrik. The one that has haraka on it. Like mutaqin, yeah. The qin the on there. So which one is most the most strongest? No, the mukhaffaf is more muhita. It's more it's more stronger in the mukhaffaf than it is on the the muk the mushaddad is stronger, right? The mushaddad is more stronger than which one? Al Hajj. Tab that's more stronger than the which one? Than the mukhaffaf. So and the mukhaffaf is more stronger than the sakin al-asli. And the sakin al-asli is more stronger than the mutaharrik. That's why he says, وَبَيِّنًا مُقَلْقَلًا إِنْ سَكَنَا وَإِنْ يَكُنْ فِي الْوَقْفِ كَانَ أَبْيَنَا We're going to now do the third one, which is صِفَةُ الْإِنْحِرَافِ مَرَاتِبُ الْقَلْقَلَ We said the levels of? How many, how many did we say? So the first one is As-Sakinu, the one that has all of them. All the first three are what? Sukun, right? And it has, you stand over it, and it has a what? Lil-Wuqufi Alayhi, to stand over it. Al-Mushaddadi, that has a Shadda on it. Like, like the Jim, because is, is Jim not part of the Huruf that we took? That are from the, it's from it, right? So what do you say? al hajj The third, third, second one is what? Al-Sakinu Lil-Waqfi Alayhi Al-Mukhaffaf It's the opposite. The only difference is this, the first one has Shadda on it. This one doesn't have Shadda on it. Muhiit And you're standing over it. Like you're stopping there. You're what? You're stopping. The third one is that the Sukun here is Asli. It's original. Al-Sakinu Al-Asli means the Sukun is what? It's original. It's yajma'u. The fourth one is al-mutaharrik. The mutaharrik is what? Al-mutaqeen. The levels, the way it's written is the power it is. So it's more apparent in this one than this one. And this one in this one. Wahakada. Strongest, least, lesser, and even lesser. Yeah. It becomes... It becomes easier because here you have to stand. You have to. It, the shadda forces you to do it like that. Are we all together? Because we all know that in the shadda there's how many jeems? In the Arabic language, whenever you see shadda, shadda on a word, how many letters is it? It's two letters. So it's actually two jeems in there, right? So you're forced to stop when you're saying it because of the original jeem being inside there. Are you? Hmm? The qaf. But it's weak, you cannot hear it because of the haraka. It's extremely weak. We all together? This is the weakest type. You're not going to see any qalqala. But the harf is it harf or qalqala? So the levels is like this one. This is the hot, the hottest. You know the temperature room? When you see those temperature room? Yeah? Yeah, so top is a red, yellow, and it gets weaker and weaker. And here, when, when it comes to the, the mutaharrik, is very what? Cold. Mm-hmm. 
No, no, it doesn't have to be last part of the ayah. This one is. The mukhaffaf is. Like in the mushaddad, it doesn't. Because the shaddad forces you to stop. You can't, can, you can't connect it. al hajju ashhurum al hajju You have to stop. Sah? Walillahi ala nasi hijju. Which one? Because the standing here, the, 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 the waqf that you're coming with, here is forceful. You have to, you have to pronounce it. Muttaqeen, ha? Yeah, so that's why you can't pronounce it properly. The muttaqeen, there's asru qalqala in there, like in there is not, it's not, it's not bahir, it's not apparent. It's, the, it's cold, it's cold, it's very cold, but it's there. Why? Because it's qaf. Harf, the, the harf of qaf is what? It's a qalqala. We're going to go to sifatul inhiraf. So we're going to go to an inhiraf. What does an inhiraf mean in the language? It means al maylu. What does it mean? Al maylu. Maylu means what? What does al maylu mean? Huh? It's to divert. Inhiraf means what? Deviation. It's to divert. It is to what? I mean, you guys call it detour, right? Change you from the detour, the road, detour. It's when you're on a path and you're told to go another opposite way. That's what the word al-inhiraf means. Are we all together? That's lughatan what it means. It means lughatan. It means al-maylu. Okay. And istilahan, what does it mean? It means maylu al-harf. The letter it deviates. The letter, I mean, the pronunciation when you're pronouncing this letter and you're articulating this letter. The articulation of this letter deviates. I'm going to just say the letter deviates. The letter, it deviates بَعْدَ خُرُوجِ After it comes out. مِنْ مَخْرَجِهِ From its what? From its place. حَتَّى until يَتَّصِلَ بِمَخْرَجِ غَيْرِهِ Until it goes to another letter's articulation. It takes another letter's articulation. One more time. مَيْلُ الْحَرْفِ The letter deviates. From where? Min makhrajihi from its place. Every letter has its place. Okay? It diverts from it. It deviates from it. It goes away from that path. How much? Hatta until yatasila until it starts to connect to another letter's pronunciation. Yeah? Yeah, the letter yeah deviates. It goes off track. Why is it? How many letters are they? Lam and Lam and Ra. Okay? Lam and? Why is it called inhiraf? The reason why it's called inhiraf is linhiraf fi harfaiha. It's two letters. What are the two letters? The Lam and the? The Ra. They, because of their deviation, بعد خروجهما, once they came out, حتى اتصلا, until they connected to what? بمخرج غيرهما, they started to connect to a articulation of then it's articulation. It's basically what we said in what? Istilahan. Why is it called inhiraf? Because it, the two letters diverted from its original articulation when it came out until it became what? Until it became a different word's articulation. Does everyone understand? بعد خروجهما. The lamb, for example, ha. Like for example, like the ayah wa anzalna, sah? Wa anzalna. What's what's the letter in there? The lamb, the laugh, the, the lamb in there, right? Okay, where does the lamb come out from? Behind the teeth, right? At the top. But when you pronounced it, what happened? It went to the middle of the... It went backwards. The tongue goes backwards. The tongue moves backwards. 
Okay, we'll stop there inshallah ta'ala. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayh.